创意跟科技的结合，是英国在面临经济衰退之后最有前景的产业。而我们说到英国的创意，您可还记得上海世博被称为“蒲公英”的伦敦馆吗？六万根透明的亚克力杆就插在建筑上头，还会随风飘动，也让这个经费只有其他欧洲场馆一半的建筑，给很多人留下最深刻的印象。因此，欠缺经费的英国政府，他们这回办奥运又请来了这位建筑师，也就是被称为是英国现代达文西的。Thomas Heatherwick 来帮奥运的开幕式设计圣火台。我们到了伦敦就独家专访了 Thomas Heatherwick， 结果发现他的工作室简直像是一个疯狂实验室。我们一起来看看。Lean back, and now if you put your legs forward and swing sideways, there we go. You got it. 坐在像陀螺的椅子上，整个人就真的像陀螺一样，三百六十度的旋转。充满童趣的椅子，怎么摇也不会倒。Uh, it's called spun, and it's actually that's how it's made. So when they make it, they get a metal, they get metal former, and and the granules of plastic are put in, and it's spun as it, when it's heated up, and that's how they make it. 发明这张椅子的是一向以古怪创意著称的英国设计师 Thomas Heatherwick。顶着一头乱乱卷发的他，最著名的作品是为上海世博设计的种子圣殿。六万根透明的亚克力杆，每一根里头放置了形状、种类不同的种子，杆子随风飘动，建筑就像一朵巨大的蒲公英。材料总是 Heatherwood 的设计主角，因此时常是先有材料才有设计。工作室就像是一个小型的实验工厂，在这里，建筑师、景观师、工程师通力合作，才能研发制作令人匪夷所思的材料。譬如为 Harvey Nichol 百货做的设计，利用层木做出丝带的形态，长达有两百米，贯穿地面橱窗的里里外外。巨型丝带将建筑跟街道连接起来，也构成有活力的城。市景观，而 Heatherwick 为伦敦所设计的新双层巴士，一条包围整座巴士的浮动玻璃墙，将巴士内部营造得更为明亮。The old bus was was launched in the 1950s. So much part of the、uh, iconography of London in the world, the double-decker bus. It's a very different time we live in now from the 1950s,、uh, and there's a real.、Uh, Utter demand that we we want. 采用最新的绿色科技，使用混合动力的新双层巴士，它的燃料效率提高百分之十五，也就是说可以节省百分之四十的燃料消耗。It is also unique because it has three doors and two staircases, one staircase at the back, and so we just thought, well, with the、um, with the staircase, it, that's an opportunity as you walk up and down to look out over London. And、uh, so that's why we made this spiral of glass. 车尾处有一个开放式的平台，上面设有扶手。交通繁忙的时候，乘客可以乘着巴士等红灯从这里上下车。这也是传统双层巴士上令人最怀念不忘的跳上跳下平台。不过，各界更想知道的是 ，Heatherwick 他为伦敦奥运所设计的圣火盆到底长得是什么样子 ？Not just an object, it's a moment we all remember. That moment when the cauldrons get lit, we're designing a moment as much as the thing,、yeah. and、uh, it's the most top secret thing、yeah. we've ever worked on. Like you could go around the studio like this, and you won't find anything anywhere because we we have to shred Does everything. Does anyone in the studio know, or no? Only only you. Only a few people, only and there's they have secrecy agreement. 不说就是不说，一丁点儿都不能透露。干脆赶快转移话题，介绍他的最新作品，可以卷成两颗爱心的路桥。So this, so it's a pedestrian bridge. It becomes two hearts sitting on these columns. 其实 ，Heatherwick 曾经为伦敦伯丁顿设计的路桥，在船只要通过的时候，就会自动卷起来，最后桥的两端会连接叠在一起。如今，第二代卷桥出炉，只差还没有找到愿意盖的城市。Is there a river in Taipei and a mayor, or, or you know, is there a mayor in Taiwan who needs a, a bridge that would be unique in the world to connect the two sides of the river? 
喜欢参与公共设计、为城市空间加分的 Hedwig 说：“对常规提出否定是他的灵感泉源，将疯狂的计划付诸实现则是他的动力。”敢想敢做，也难怪 Hedwig 可以在各地城市景观发起一个又一个的冲击。